take my word for it, it was a summer blockbuster that made audiences terrified to take part in another summertime activity. 50 years ago, Jaws told the world it wasn't safe to go in the water. The movie turned sharks into a classic Hollywood villain. But now, a half century later, scientists are trying to change that narrative. Elizabeth Cook of our CBS News 24-7 streaming network shows us how sharks can tell us a lot about the world we live in. Come on, honey. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, my gosh. There he is. Pulling a seven foot long shark out of the water turned out to be a lot easier than you might expect. Hey, look what I caught. Marine scientists from Oregon State University have for much of the past decade become experts on, in doing this. I got I'm you. Crank him up just a touch. Carefully. They do this so they can study them and learn from them. Hi. Under the direction and of Dr. We'll Taylor this, Chapel, um, whether this male is mature or not, who directs the university's big fish research program. So, what kind of shark is this? So, this is a broadnose seven gill shark. We see oh a lot gosh. of them here, here in Willapa Bay. He doesn't seem to mind that you're doing all these things to him. They get pretty chill when they're on the boat. Yeah. And then he's got water running over his gills right now. So, we've got an aerator coming through. So, right now he's he's calm. Can I have you hold the head? Okay. <laughs> Sure. So your job, so you're going to take okay. your hand, you're going to hold his nose right okay. here. Okay. Hand over the tip of the head of the shark. No big deal. These fish, sharks, are the best way to understand not just how they live, but where they live. A healthy shark means a healthy ocean. I got it all under control. Don't worry. Don't worry. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> Good. You got it. Nice. Dr. Chapel and members of the university team have studied 350 oh, sharks in this one bay. Total 221. Willapa Bay in the state of Washington, just north of the Oregon border. There are 15 different kinds of species in and around the area. Now, why this species right now? So seven gills uh, are a really important, what we call a keystone species, and so they are really an indicator of the health of your ecosystem and the ones that maintain and manage the ecosystem. Sharks are an apex species, meaning they are at the top of the food chain. If what they are eating is healthy, then that's an indicator of the health of the water they and other fish swim in. And that matters too for many of the people who live here and depend on fishing for their livelihoods. So Hi. we'll actually collect the stomach contents from the individual shark by basically puking it. Part of the examination okay, Jess Schulte will do is so figure out good. what the sharks are eating. Right. Oh, there's some good stuff in there. Got some chunks. She is working on a PhD on shark's diet. And today, another shark. Right here. Oh my goodness, it's another shark. So it's another shark. Well, they're also generalist predators, so they'll eat basically whatever's in front of them. Even if it's another shark. Even if it's another shark. Back in the lab, what they learn from the shark is analyzed. No surprise, this is a healthy shark. Has it been difficult to get people to care about sharks because of, frankly, the bad rap they've gotten over the years? Yeah, it's it's been hard to get people excited enough to support it. People are interested in sharks. They like to watch a show about sharks, but when it comes to people opening their wallet to support the research, it's really, really difficult. But because of what he and his team have been able to do here, they can say this one bay is healthy. Start dropping him slowly. And for the shark? Just realizing he's back in the ocean. Oh, you're there, bud. It's time to say goodbye. You you're go. free, buddy. You did great. And there he goes. For CBS Saturday Morning, Elizabeth Cook, Willapa Bay, Washington. Mm. That is fascinating. I don't know that I needed the gnat sound of when he yeah, was no. getting rid of that stuff, the, but uh, it is really, yeah, it's really amazing <laughs> to see what they can learn from what these creatures are taking in. It makes sense, but you wouldn't think that that's how you'd go about it. Absolutely. Well, we hope we save the sharks because, again, they are important to our lives. Yeah, so. There's no doubt.